You're not a man who's known for doing uh, world tours every single year. No, <laughs> no. When uh, is there a possibility that you're going to be touring in this country? Yeah, well, uh, hopefully now because basically, the, you know, I'm on my eighth album. And, you know, and some people are saying, well, what have you been doing, Billy? But from 98 to 8, I've actually recorded three albums, which is an album every 15 months. So and so, it's been head down, you know, and I knew that from then. And then after that, you know, now I feel I could just get out with any old banjo and play. You know, I mean, I saw Morrissey in in, uh, in Berlin, and I saw the, the Cure and such. And you know, it's something that I, I could put together really easy. But saying that, you've got to, I've got to be fans of the musicians. I've got to sit back and just really be in awe of their. Um, their ability. Plus, you've got to like them person personal wise. I mean, um, there's got to be a whole chemistry, and I find that quite difficult. But saying that, um, I've got a couple of vocalists coming over from Memphis, and I've got about mm, up to about fifteen or sixteen people to audition. But all my favourite musicians, say like Chester Kamen. he plays with Brian Ferry, so he'll be working with Brian Ferry. Then Moritz will be drumming. Um, for a Sun Electric, his group. So it's trying to get all the, the right people at the right time. But seeing that, I think it's uh, time for me to stand out and be counted live. But uh, the whole premise for me doing live work now would be uh, absolute, well, hopefully it would just be real exhilarating and fun, you know. I wouldn't really be wanting to pull on any heartstrings or, uh, you know, it would be all quite uh, up-tempo and uh, quite off the wall. Which I, th uh, which I would enjoy. Hopefully, I just want to, uh, want it to be exhilarating. You know, I want it to be like the thrill of seeing a cheetah doing seventy miles an hour. You know, I want it to have that speed. The and adrenaline that. rush. Yeah, I want it to have that. I want it to have that motion. You know, I want it to be very forward and and fast and um, uh, dynamic. You appeared on the Music of Quality and Distinction compilation album, yeah. Singing Free. Now, that, that's one that could almost be on Outer National with the style of the singing over the music. Is that mm. going to be the new Billy McKenzie style or no. is the, the established style? No, no, not at all. Uh, you know, I find that every album throws up a, a different way of approaching, shall we say. So, uh, mostly on this album, I didn't want my vocals to be full throttle. I wanted them to be much more subtle, and I wanted to use my um, falsetto. Um, and, uh, what, and because the, the music dictated to me in the actual... And I wanted it to be more of a texture, and I didn't want it to be the voice as the main instrument in, in a backing track. I wanted it to be much more a sort of complete textural sonic picture, you know? So... Um, with with that uh, with these few tracks, no, with, with this album and say with free, I wanted to use that, you know, uh, and I didn't want to be, uh, uh, you know, I didn't want the, my voice just to be explosive, and uh, you know, if it's got anything to do from as astrology, that's the Libra side of me, which is meant to be all about harmony and and niceties and seduction and such, and the Aries side, of course, is Martian energy, which and and people are, know. Uh, about that side of me from my earlier work but uh, I'm already working on a new Associates album and there's a different um, energy level going into the, the vocals with the next album and I'm really surprised about that So it's going to be albums after albums will be unpredictable and you yeah, can't say this yeah. is I mean, it's this is it. it Yeah, it surprises me but saying that uh, um, I'm very much an artist that, that loves so much you know, different forms of music, classical, I like Django Reinhardt, I like Mamas and the Papas, I like Nirvana, I like uh, Can, uh, you know, across the board, and I, I can't say what will happen, you know, because being a music lover, I can appreciate so much, and I wouldn't say that, um, you know, you're not going to get, just get this image of me just being a popular artist, because I would say it was fueled by a jazz attitude, I would say, I'd, you know, uh, I, I like to take chances. And if I pull it off musically, that's the reward, you know. Talking of rewards, <laughs> we have uh, a competition in which the reward will be three CD albums of Outer National, which Billy is just going to autograph. Now, that's not to say that you can phone in and win three. I have three copies and you can win one. Uh, Billy's going to set a competition question for you, and if you know the answer, give me a call on Dundee 200 100.
Billy, the question. The question. Uh, the question. <laughs> the question is: uh, Which member of Yellow is very fond of Wallace's pies? <laughs> now, well, if you if you think, figure that one out, figure that one out. You deserve, you deserve a copy it. of the album. Yeah. No problem at all. Which member of Yellow then is very fond of Wallace's pies? Yes. <laughs> Billy, thank you very much. A pleasure again. Let's uh, close the chat on the album with Grooveture. From Billy McKenzie's Outer National album, that's Grooveture. And the autographed CDs now belong to Sandra McIntosh, Ellie Reid and Stephen McGregor. I said earlier, Billy McKenzie was looking for your demo tapes. He's looking for anything from techno to grunge metal. And if you would uh, like another step up the ladder to stardom, then you can send your tape to Billy McKenzie at Fiction Records. That's Fiction, F-I-C-T-I-O-N Records. 97 Charlotte Street in London and the postcode is W1P1LB that's 97 Charlotte Street London W1P1LB as I said he's looking for anything from techno to grunge metal in just a moment the sound of the times comes to a close next week music and chat from the Inspiral Carpets and next on Tay it's Mabel with Bookmatters <laughs>